The time, Christmas Eve. The place, this room. We're making a last minute check of our list to be sure we haven't forgotten anyone. We pause for a second and offer a prayer for our neighbors. We wish all of them a Merry Christmas. The children have hung their stockings and are being shooed off to bed. In the stillness of the room stands a young fir tree, the tree of the Christ child. The stillness changes our thoughts. We hear the tiny trees speaking. I am a widow Christmas tree, but a confused Christmas tree because I don't know why I is here. I was chosen for million of widow trees just like me to stand in this room. Although I am very young, in a few days I will wither away. Me green coat will fade and me needles will drop off. Why am I standing here all decorated? What good are decorations if the deeds are not remembered? They hang decorations on heroes, yet heroes like Christmas trees are forgotten only to be remembered if needed to serve another purpose. Beneath me branches, gifts are placed. They are wrapped in gay colors and they're tied with bright ribbons. They are the tokens of friendship, the spirit of Christmas from those who gave from the goodness of their heart. Shall we stop while you hear the receiver speak? Here's another package. Where's it from? From your boss. Wonder what it is. Uh, it won't be much. You'd think with all his money, give out with something worthwhile. Is this why I was brought here? Am I serving me purpose? Is this the true meaning of the spirit of giving? Don't they know that Christmas is the birthday of the Christ child? Not a holiday for the greedy. Why am I standing here anyway? What is my purpose? What that? There's somebody on the roof. It's reindeers. Oh, I remember the sound of their little hoofs. I remember how they used to play around me with little branches in the forest. Someone's coming down that chimney. Who it is? Who it is? Merry Christmas! <laughs> They're all asleep. Well, I, I think I'll just rest for a second. Oh, my, what a beautiful Christmas tree. Thank you. What? I said thank you. You said I was beautiful, so I said thank you. <laughs> my golly, old Santa Claus's ears are playing tricks on him. I, I could have sworn that tree spoke. I did speak, Santa Claus. Uh, but, but why in such a sad way? Christmas trees are supposed to be happy. I can't be happy because I can't figure out me purpose in being here. Well, tell me, little tree, haven't you ever been happy? Oh, yes, back in the forest. I remember how every spring the same birds who flew south for the winter would return and rebuild their homes that the blizzard had destroyed in me branches. And how the wind would blow through me fur and make me whisper music and the birds would join in and sing. We were the sounds of the earth, a symphony unwritten. I was happy then because at least I know me purpose for being there. But, but you're making music now? Doesn't it do you good to know that you're bringing happiness? Happiness? <laughs> you just wait until tomorrow morning when you hear the laughter of all the little children and how proud you'll be when they dance about you. Oh, I wish I could be here to enjoy it with you. You see, I've never seen nor heard the children after I leave their presence. Well, why don't you stick around, Danny Claw? Well, for some reason, I... I have never been invited. Ah. Oh. It seems that after folks get what they want, Santa Claus isn't wanted until the next year when they need something else. Then why does you keep coming back? Because the children need someone to put the spirit of giving into their little hearts without greed. I come back each year, 
hoping to find men living not by man-made laws, but by the Ten Commandments. So you be happy, little tree. You have a wonderful purpose. I can't be happy. They cut off my roots. I'll be dead in a few days and without knowing my purpose for being here. Well, uh, maybe old Santa Claus can help you understand. Tonight, I paid a visit to a place, and two of my reindeer were knocked out cold. No. Yes. It was dark, and we ran head on into an iron curtain. Oh? I should have known I wasn't wanted when I didn't see one Christmas tree to help light my way. Oh. No, little tree, there wasn't one child's stocking to be filled, not one church holding services, and it was a great, vast place without spiritual guidance. You mean they don't have any churches? Oh, yes, yes, they have churches, and people are free to attend, but if they do, they can no longer be members of the party, and only members of the party receive ration cards. Oh, yes. Yes, there are churches, but they're not used for worship, little tree. They're used as museums to belittle the true spirit of giving. <laughs> now, now do you understand your purpose for being here? As long as you and all other trees like you can stand in the home at Christmas, the world will know that freedom of man is still here and that God's prayer Peace on earth, goodwill toward men is still alive. Yet, I see it now, Santa Claus. I feel so much better because I understand my purpose for being here. Fine, fine. <laughs> well, I, I, I must be on my way. Oh. Merry Christmas, little tree. Merry Christmas, Santa Claus. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas for next year and every year. And maybe next year you'll be asked to stay a little longer than just over the holiday. Merry Christmas, Annie Claude. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> 